Hi, my name is Marcus Nordlund. I'm a physicist by training and I have a PhD in fluid mechanics. I've been working for Philip Morris for more than 12 years in the area of aerosol physics and combustion science. And I'm currently leading the scientific and medical affairs activities here at Philip Morris. Today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between smoke and an aerosol. And this is particularly important to distinguish when we talk about smoke-free products, when usually what comes out from the products looks very similar in sort of a cloud-shaped form. Now, in order to do so, it's very important to understand what is an aerosol. An aerosol is a suspension of solid and or liquid particles in a gas, usually air. And what makes the aerosol visible is actually the light scattering through this particle that makes it look like a cloud when it comes out. There are many different types of aerosols that come from various uh, physical or uh, thermal processes. And depending on what generates the aerosols, the composition of the aerosol becomes very different. Common examples of such aerosols that are formed from vaporization condensation processes are clouds, for example, in the sky, or mist, or fog, steam, where you have water vapor cooling down until it forms liquid droplets. Cigarette smoke contains solid particles, so soot, and liquid droplets, and it contains thousands of chemicals, out of which hundreds or so are recognized by health authorities to be harmful or potentially harmful. The smoke particles are generated from the high temperature processes happening during combustion. Now it's really the high temperature processes that generate these chemicals. But while smoke is an aerosol, it's very important to realize that not all aerosols are smoke. If you have an aerosol generated by low temperature processes, like vaporization, it generates a liquid-based aerosol when these vapors are cooled down to form droplets. When you either heat tobacco or a liquid, you vaporize an aerosol form, typically propylene glycol or glycerol. And these are the fundamental differences between the smoke from a cigarette containing solid particles and thousands of chemicals compared to aerosols that are generated for smoke-free products that contains much less chemicals and uh, liquid droplets. To summarize, while smoke is an aerosol, not all aerosols are smoke. Smoke contains solid particles and thousands of chemicals that are generated at high temperatures when a, a material combusts. Whereas an aerosol that are formed from at lower temperatures, from vaporization and condensation, is much less complex than cigarette smoke and no solid particles are generated. And this is why it's so important for smoke-free products to avoid combustion, as it's the combustion that generates smoke. And my colleagues, we talk a little bit more about combustion and also what's in the aerosol and also how the aerosol uh, affects the surrounding when the products are used. Thank you for your attention.